that's not what I didn't like. Penalties in the second period. Other than that, I like everything else about the game. I like everything else about the game. I like our effort. I like the way we. I like the way we started. I like the way we finished. Uh, I thought we were resilient. I thought we competed. I don't think a guy had a, I don't think a, guy had a bad game. I thought everybody played well. We, we protected the puck pretty well. We moved the puck in this way. <coughs> Against a team that can that can generate shots down low, we, we did a good job of defending Grade A. A much better job than anybody. So I was very pleased. That was, you know, we're not all the way back, but that was a nice step in the right direction, that's for sure. I'll take that point for sure. And more importantly, I'll take the effort and the, uh, the awareness and the defense that they um, Even outside of him scoring the big tying goal, how do you think that Ati played tonight? I thought Ati played really well tonight. I thought all the defense played well. I wish I, didn't think, I wish I had him out there in the last face-off in the offensive zone at the end of the, the overtime there. Because he's a real good offensive defenseman. Um, I thought he, the fact that he moved the puck well, and I thought he defended very well tonight. Uh, do you know what set uh, Megan off there on the uh, play where he had the double minor? Yeah, he thought the guy went for his knee, hit him in the knees, boy, you know. He dove at his knees. Did you see the player? Yeah, he dove at his knees. And what was going through your mind when he repeatedly shoved him and then looked like he was done and gave him one more? Well, I just was teed off. He'll, he'll, he'll have to address, we'll, we'll address that with him. The first penalty was okay because he was made away. Just, I don't even think he deserved the first penalty. He definitely deserved the second penalty. And what would you tell your team during your timeout? Uh, smarten up. Smarten up? Oh, yeah, when the timeout with the face-off? When I, when I, when I talk, call the timeout? When you call the timeout. Yeah, the TV timeout or the, when I call timeout. I call timeout because of the face-off situation okay. I didn't like. That's all. TV, uh, we were in a TV timeout when I, when I was upset about the penalties. On the main goal that was called back, what did you see on the play there? Were they called a goal interference? I don't know if they called the goalie in the first. I think they called the guy in the crease that uh, kept my goalie. From, I, don't, I don't know if there was contact, but he can't be on, on the puck side in the, in the blue when he was on the puck side of the blue, so it's automatic no goal. I know you said all the lines were clicking tonight, but it seemed like the O'Regan line really clicked it down. I mean, they, they had that really hot stretch a few weeks ago, and it seemed like they had a really good night tonight. O'Regan's? Yeah. Yeah, they played well. They certainly did. Uh, Danny had a, a real good opportunity on the, on, the, on the power play just before we scored. General was, I couldn't single anybody out that had a real good game, you know, had a better game than anybody else, or worse game than I thought. Up and down the line, we had everybody going. I, I, thought, I thought Matty Ronan, a few shifts he got, he did a good job when he was out there, too. Are there any concerns with the penalty kill, giving up so many goals to a power play that's last in the league right now? Well, we're giving up penalty kill, you know, like, we're making everybody's power play look pretty good. You know, and it was just strictly a uh, three individual breakdowns by three guys, and two of them with the exact same breakdown. Weak side wing didn't get back low enough to, so that our, our one defenseman was outnumbered at the crease and they just threw it in the crease and got a 2 on one there. Uh, our weak side wing is supposed to be down. The other one, uh, the, the player that was playing 39, was with him in front of him but never really played him and he let him keep closing and shot the puck right over our goal. So those, those were just individual breakdowns. Harvard didn't, Harvard didn't do well when Bob by us. Uh, we, we've been, that's it. We've been a little anxious there, that's for sure. But we were, there was effort there. And other than those individual breakdowns, I thought we killed that penalty pretty well. We were exhausted a couple of times. How did O'Connor play tonight? I thought he played well. I thought he was poised. I thought they were jamming at the net a lot. He was there. And it was just a good effort. Uh, Jeff, what do you think about the defense tonight? Uh, I thought they played well. 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 I I don't think so. I think you know, goalies like to have action. They, they like to have action and win. <laughs> they don't like to have action and lose, but they like to have action and win. So I don't think he's not worried about us giving up shots. You know, as long as we don't give up empty minutes like we did in the game. Sometimes they're better than other. I'd say you'd call this a good tie coming back in the third like that. Then. Yeah, it has to be, have to be uh, kind of shot off the foot in the second third. But the first period we played great. Uh, and then we come back and they have a goal late in the end of the first. Stop the second period on the power play goal. Both the exact same breakdown. Uh, different guys, but the exact same breakdown. And then, uh, and then they go ahead. And, uh, I thought we kept, we kept competing. And we made a nice play on our team. And we almost had a power play goal just before that. Daniel Reed and shot it over the net and went over the line. So we moved 
moved the puck pretty well there. I thought Rodriguez had a hell of a game on the power play, and that, that line played very well. Uh, I thought the end was well. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thanks, Josh.